Apple just released iOS 17.3 beta 2 and it has a major issue. So I want to get this out of the way right away. If you are installing iOS 17.3 beta 2 at the moment, you might want to stop because this update is causing a boot loop for many users. So most users are going to be fine, but a lot of people have been reporting on social media and discord that this update has completely bricked their device and they have to restore their phone you know, from factory settings. Now it's been noted that this could be caused by back tap being enabled and we'll get to what's new in a second, but I just need to get this disclaimer out there right away. So if you go into your settings, if you are going to install 17.3 beta two at all, which right now I would just simply not recommend doing until Apple addresses a fix. But if you are going to install 17.3 beta two, make sure to go into your settings accessibility and then to touch and go down to back tap and make sure that this says off, make sure you have back tap turned completely off. Now, if that says on and you go in here and it says none, you might need to reselect none on both of these to make sure that, you know, the double tap and triple tap are turned off and make sure that back tap says off right there, because according to inside over here on Mastodon, it looks like that could be the reason that these devices are seeing a boot loop after installing 17.3 beta two. But I would say that even if you have back tap turned off, I would highly recommend just staying away from 17.3 beta two for the time being, there's just too much risk involved and you're not really getting a lot of reward. There's not really anything new in the software to risk it. So just right away, I just want to tell you, you probably don't want to install 17.3 beta two until Apple pushes out a fix. Probably not how you expected this intro to go. But anyways, Apple did also release the second beta today for iPad OS 17.3, watch OS 10.3, Mac OS Sonoma 14.3, TV OS and HomePod OS 17.3. And we did not see any vision pro updates today. Now, none of those versions had any issue with boot loops. It was simply an iOS specific issue. So this only impacted iOS devices, not iPad OS, watch OS or any other software. So just keep that in mind. Now, as far as the size and build number goes, you can see it came in at a pretty small, honestly, 505 megabytes on my 15 pro max. That's relatively small for a second beta. Now, if we go ahead and check out the build number, and again, this could change just based on, you know, the issue at hand, but if we go into our settings general about 17.3, the original build number is 21D5036C. So again, we could see maybe a one number change if Apple does decide to re-push out 17.3 beta 2. We could see a 37C or something like that. Now, if we go back and check out the modem firmware, that is 1.40.00. So the first big feature in 17.3 beta two is that you get your phone boot looped. So that's a great new feature here in 17.3 beta two. But aside from that, the only other change that I found so far is just simply a fix with the stolen device protection feature. So if we go into our face ID and passcode and then go down to stolen device protection and you go to turn that off and you put in your face ID and you start the security delay, it actually works now. So before it would not work, it would not detect that you are actually at your home, you know, when you have significant locations turned on, but now it seems to be working properly. And if you missed my beta one, what's new video, and you don't know what stolen device protection is, go back and watch that video. I will leave it linked down in the description below, but essentially what it does is it adds an additional layer of security in case somebody steals your iPhone and also has your passcode because with that passcode, somebody's able to go in here and go to your password section. They're able to go into your wallet. They're able to, you know, make transactions via Apple pay. They're able to do pretty much anything, including changing your Apple ID password. So this is going to be an essential feature that you need to have on. But anyways, also in 17.3, we got the re-release of collaborative playlists. So if you go into your playlist and then go into one of the playlists, you will now have these two people glyph icon up here in the top right. And that's because collaborative playlists are back after being pulled in a later version of the 17.2 betas. And you can see you can react to the songs and everything. I've not noticed a difference here in beta two. We still have the same interface here when it comes to, you know, adding collaborators or stopping the collaboration. All of that is the same. And then when you go into 
one of the songs. You can see we do have the animations. Those do appear to show up every time now, whereas in beta one, they did not show up every time, but that is where you can react with an emoji, which is pretty cool. And you can see kind of, you know, who reacted. It's kind of like messages when you react to a message in a group chat. Now, if we take a look at the release notes for beta two, there's literally only one thing mentioned here, and that is a resolved issue with StoreKit, and it's related to APIs in StoreKit. So something that most of you are not going to have, you know, not going to get any benefit from. So very, very sparse release notes and really not a lot going on in general here in beta two, aside from the boot loop issue. So, you know, in my opinion, there's really zero reason to update to beta two in its current landscape. Like until Apple pushes out a new version, which might even have a different build number, I don't see any reason to update. Now, as far as the performance and battery life goes, I did run a Geekbench 6 test here on the 15 Pro Max, and you can see we scored a 2943 on the single core and a 7309 on the multi-core. If we compare that to beta one, it was slightly lower. So you can see a comparison of those two, the top two right here. So just slightly lower on the single core and the multi-core was just a few points higher so not a big difference probably won't make any difference in the real world now as far as the battery life goes battery life on beta one was actually really good for me so i've said this time and time again in my apple weekly episodes but the battery life on 17.3 beta one was pretty much the same as 17.2 and 17.2.1 it could have even been better in some scenarios so i was very impressed by that and i would assume that battery life here on beta two is going to be the same so you guys will have to let me know what i started this video at and you know what i'm at right now to see how the battery life is but i will give you guys an update i will install this on my main device once the fix gets pushed out and there's no boot loop issue i will update that and uh, tell you guys how the battery life is in my apple weekly episode and then finally let's talk about what to expect next from apple so next up is going to be most likely a fix for ios 17.3 beta 2 so we should see that fix for 17.3 beta 2 come pretty soon i would say within the next 24 hours probably even sooner than that so i would expect to see a fix for that now this update strangely came out a week earlier than apple typically releases updates so that could also play a role in why we had this issue you know when we don't normally see issues like this with apple software even betas apple typically releases the first beta of the year and the second week of january i don't remember the last time we had a software update in the first week of January. So again, that could play a role. Apple getting a little bit sloppy there. However, I would expect to see 17.3 beta 3 next week. Now, this is going to have to depend on what Apple does to kind of rectify this issue. So if they don't release a fix for 17.3 beta 2 by today, then we might not see a 17.3 beta 3 until later on next week, most likely on Wednesday or even Thursday. So it's kind of up in the air right now because of this issue, but I would expect to see 17 17.3 beta 3 next week and then after that the week of the 15th is when we could see the rc so the 15th is martin luther king jr day so we're not going to see anything on that monday but we could see the rc release of 17.3 anytime on the week of the 15th and if we do see that i would expect to see the final ios 17.3 released on the week of january 22nd if not january 22nd itself which is actually the date that i predicted last month in december so we should see that before the end of the month which is going to be a good sign for the stolen device protection feature and also this could line up with the vision pro release date because now we're hearing that we could see vision pro as early as late january but most likely in early february and you'll most likely need to be running 17.3 or maybe 17.2 for that to work but anyways guys there you have it a very interesting what's new video here on the channel for 17.3 beta 2. so i hope that you were not a victim of a boot loop when installing this update please let me know down in a comment below if you were a victim or if you somehow got lucky and did not have this issue even if you had back tap enabled let me know your experience with 17.3 beta 2 down in the comment section below and i will you know i'll t i'll have a lot more information about this as well as the day goes on and I will share that in my Apple Weekly episode coming on Saturday. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to subscribe for more iOS 17 coverage. But anyways, guys, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.